The Promise of E. The Coming Messiah. Deuteronomy chapter 18 9 to 22, And when you all shall enter into the land which I, E. Eluhimi, your odd, whom easy. Your sovereign king have given to you all, you shouldn't follow after their gods, nor neither should you embrace their gods, and neither should you learn to do their abominations, but you should serve E. Eluhimi, your sovereign, only. And you should not worship their gods, nor should you do the abominable things that these nations are doing. And neither should you follow them to worship their gods, you should only hearken to me, E. Therefore none of their abominations shall be found amongst you. And neither should any one of you make E's sons or E's daughters to pass through the fire. And neither should any one of you use divination, nor should any one of you be an observer of the abomination of wickedness or a fortune teller of the times, or of the future or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter of familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. Because all those that are doing these evil things shall be a curse, because these things are an abomination to E. Eluhimi, whom is your sovereign king, and because of these abominations, E. Eluhimi, your sovereign king, have driven out all these wicked nations, and also their gods from out of the land, and from before E. Eluhimi. Therefore you all should strive to be perfect, and you should stick with E's laws, and with all of the commandments of Eluhimi, whom is your sovereign king. Because all these nations, that are wicked, E. Eluhimi, your sovereign king shall drive then out of the land which are E's, and from before E's, face. And E. Eluhimi, shall give it to you all. And E, shall give you all, E's promised land which E, have promised to you for your possession. But all those who are here kenning to their gods and their observations of their customs and rituals and their times, and to their diviners, they all shall be cursed. So don't you all be like them because E. Eluhimi, is with you all. And E, E's, your sovereign king. And E. Eluhimi, would not suffered any one of E's people to do these same evil things. Therefore you should only hearken to E's laws and to E's commandments, and also to all those things which E have commanded to you all. And then E Eluhimi, your odd, whom E Z your sovereign one, will come and E. Would Lee. Lived amongst all of you. And E. Would be E prophet, and E. Would be raised up as a prophet. And I. E shall grow up in the midst, of E's people them. And I E Eluhimi, would be like a brother to all of you. And I, E Eluhimi, would be like you, and I, E, would be your brethren, and I, E, shall be, E, the Holy One. And you shall hearken to me. E Eluya. And I, E shall teach you all the things according to E's laws, and also about E's commandments, and also about all the sayings that I, E. Eluhimi, have desired to share with all of you. And also all the things that I, E. Eluhimi, have agreed to do, and also all those things which you have spoken to Moze about at Mount Horeb on that day, when I asked all of you to assemble there, and when you all refused to listen to my sayings. Because you all were in fear of me, E. Eluhimi. And when you all said, to Moze, Moze, let us not hear the voice of E, our odd, speaking to us again. And neither let us see E's glory which is like the sun, and which looked like a great fire in the sky, and more less, any one of us might die from E's dreadful sight, and from the holy fire of E Eluhimi. And from E's Shekinah glory and from the holy smoke from the holy fire of E Eluhimi. And also from the fear and the dread of E Eluhimi. And then E said to me, Moze, they have voice they concerns well, and I have taken note of what they have spoken. And of all the things which they have spoken about me. But I myself will become the holy prophet, and I, e, would become their brethren, and I, e, would be like a friend to them, and I would grow up between them, and I, e, shall come out from among them, and I, e Eluhimi, shall be from their brethren, and they shall be like a brother to me, E. And I would be like you, Moze. And Moze, like how I, E. Have put my words in your mouth, Moze, so shall I, E. 
shall speak to them. And even so shall I, Eeluhimi teach them all about my sayings. Even face to face. And so shall I, E teach them, and so shall I, E teach them about E's laws, and also about E's commandments them. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken to my words, and to all the words which I, E shall speak in my name, I will require it of them. And if any other prophet shall come after me and he shall teach you, about God and also about his prophecies, and he would be prophesying in the name of God, but he shouldn't be except by you. And also if any other prophet should come after me, he, you presume that he is not being sent by me, he Eluhimi. And you should presume that he is not speaking the truth, nor is his the holy prophet, and that neither any of his words are true. And that he is speaking lies and blasphemies because he is speaking on behalf of himself, and also on the behest of God, and also in the name of God, whom he shall call his father, and whom he also shall be saying that he and God are one, and that he have being sent God to teach in his own name. And he would be saying many other things which I Eluhimi have not command him to speak and he would be speaking lies and blasphemies in the name of God God, whom is Shaitan. And, even that same prophet shall deceive you, and he shall cause you to die. And then you shall perish in E's world. And Moze, if they shall say, How shall we know the true words which are spoken be? Whom is our odd? And how shall we know what are the lies and the untruth, that are from these false prophets? And also E's truth and what is E's oracle? And also what is the words that E Eluhimi, have not spoken to us? Mosey, tell them, this is how they'll know. They must first take heed, and that they must acknowledge E. And that they must commemorate E's holy names, and that they should hide the names of E. In their hearts. And that they should always remember that E. E's the only one, whom is called E. Whom is the holy prophet. And whom is E. The true Christ. And whom is called E. The holy sovereign one whom is called Eluya, and whom is he the Messiah, and whom, is he, the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth, and that he is the odd, and that he is he Eluya, whom is me, he, and whom is me, he, the odd, and whom is me, he, the only one, and whose is me, he the Christ, and whose name is called Holy, and who is me, whose name is called one and whom is me, he, the Almighty One, whom is called the Almighty E. So don't you be cousined by Shaitan, whom is called God, and also by his Jesuit prophets, and don't you follow after Baal God, whom is called the Lord, and whom is also called Yeshua and Yeshua and Isis. Friends, Isis was the name of Baal God the Canaanite God, Hubble, and Baal Zebub and Beelzebub, whom is also known by many other names. And Baal or Baal God today is known as Jesus, and the Lord Jesus. And before times Baal was worshipped as God. And his name or titles were before times, called Yeshua and then Isis, before his name was installed in the New Testament of the many Bibles today. And Baal God or the Lord God, is none other than Chaitan, whom was the evil spirit that possessed Judas Jesuit Jesus and whose name was known as Isis, and Gesu, and Ihs and Issa and Yesu, and Yesu and the Lord Jesus, before his name was changed from Isis to Jesus and then to Justice. Friends and these are some of the ways that we all can now discern whom is the false prophet, and whom is the devil, and also all those who are deceivers, and also whom are Jesuits and also who are antichrists, and who are the evil ones, and the false prophet that are spoken about e that would come into the world and would deceive many. And looking back, Eeluhimi said this to Moze. You tell all these people of Eeisrael, that this how they'll know whom is the false prophet. And also whom is the true Messiah. And whom he is. And whom he's the Holy One. And whom he's named he. And also he. Christ. And he. The Messiah. 
because many shall come into the world saying that they are the Christ and that they are the Messiah, and that they are the Hebrew sovereign king, and not some fake Jewish Yenika. Because there shall be many false Christs and many false prophets, and they all shall be deceivers. And friends, this is the litmus test for the true Christ or the real Messiah, and the Holy Sovereign One, and the Almighty One, whom is called Holy. And whom is odd? And whom is he? The Holy One. And whom is he Eluya? Whom is odd? And whose name is named Holy? And also whose name is named the Almighty? And whom is he? The Holy Prophet. And whom was the Holy One whom shall come into his world to redeem his people? And whom has already come and whom has already returned to his heaven? And whom came out from amongst his people, and whom grew as a child, and whom became the holy prophet? And whom was he? Whom had taught his disciples then many things? But if any prophet should come, and they should do otherwise, then these prophets are speaking lies, because they are prophesying lies, heresies, and false prophecies by the name of God. And if the things that they are saying, don't come through, don't you follow after them. And also if none of their prophecies should come to pass, then they are deceivers. But if the things, which they have said, that Eeluhimi, have said are done, and that they should come through, then you should hearken to Eluhimi. And if the things which I, Eeluhimi have said, that it come to pass, and if the things that I, Eeluhimi have prophesied should follow after then this is how you'll know that these are the things which he, the odd have spoken are true. And this is the correct thing that he have spoken. But if that prophet have spoken presumptuously, then you shouldn't trust him nor should you show him any respect. And neither should you be afraid of him. Friends, there's a litmus test to find out who is the true Messiah. And whom is the holy prophet. And one of the criteria is that, his name must be called holy. And the other is, his name must be called the Holy One. And his name must be called Eluya. Or Eluya. And according to Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, the Sovereign One of Heaven told Malachi that he would send Eluya. Friends, Eluhimi the Sovereign King of Heaven said that he himself would be he. And that he would be Eluya. And he would be Eluya. And Eluya would be the Holy One and the Holy Spirit. And that he would be born he, the King. And that he would be he, the Christ. And that he would grow up amongst his people. And that he would be their brethren, and that he would teach them all about his commandments, and about his laws. And that when he would come he would be rejected by many. And then he would eventually be killed. And that he would be resurrected. And then he would return to his heaven, when he shall finishing his work of providing salvation for everyone. And also for his people. And for the redemption and the reconciliation, and also the atonement for all of his chosen people and also for all the sins of the world. Hallelujah. Friends and this is why we all need to believe in Eeluhimi. And that he is Eluhimi, whom is the only one whom is called Holy. Because he, is the Holy Prophet, Eluya, because the name Elijah is a mistranslation of the name of the Holy One, whose name is called Eeluya and Eluya. So according to Malachi, Eluya is the Holy Prophet whom the Sovereign King of Heaven sent to redeem his people in the world. Because if not the people in the world would all perish. Because of the curse of sin and death. And because of the disobedience of Eve and Shaitan. Whom corrupted his creation. Friends so the only way forward is to return to Eeluhimi, whom is called the Almighty. And the Holy One. And whose name alone is called Holy. Because he. He's the only one whom is the Holy Prophet. And whom is called Eluya. As in the highest praise Hallel, Eeluya. Friends please don't trust no other prophet. Friends there are many persons whom are embracing their choice prophet, whom many believe is the only holy one. 
and they're thinking that their prophet is the one and only true one. But friends, is his name called E? Because only E. Whom is E Eluya and Eluya? Easy. The holy prophet. And whose name is called E? Because E is. The holy one. And E. Is the name of the holy one, whom is the sent holy prophet. And whom is called E Eluya. But many are mistaken. And many have being misled. Because only E is the only holy one. Friends, it is not too late to realize your mistake. And to turn around. Friends, because only E is the only Holy One. And only E is the Almighty One whom is called Holy E. And the Holy Prophet. And if you are embracing any other person as the Holy Prophet, chances are you have being misled. Friends, I am highlighting the criteria of the Holy Prophet, whose name must be called Holy E, and whose name must be E Eluya and E. The King and E. The Almighty One and whom has already come some thousand years ago. When he, the Holy One was born King when he, came down from his heaven to redeem humanity. And whom has already died. And whom has all power and might. And whom has already being resurrected. When he did it all by himself. And whom has already made the atonement for all the sins of the world. And whom is in his, heaven, right now and whom is now looking into the hearts of men to see if any would understand, and if they would return to E Eluhimi, because he is waiting to embrace them, and to make them his own, and to save them all, and just by them believing in the holy sacred name of E. Praise E the odd. Friends so it's time we've learned the truth about E, whom is the only holy one and whose name is named Holy E, and the Almighty E, and whose name is called E. Christ. And also E. Odd. And that's it my friends. Now you know whom is the only Holy One, and whom is the only Holy Prophet. So, don't you be fooled by the other so-called prophets. Because they are deceivers. And they would also receive their reward. But there is a reward of eternal life waiting for all those whom have being sealed by E. Eluhimi. And there would be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth and also eternal damnation for all those that are being deceived by Shaitan, and also for those that have being deceived by God and his false prophets. And there is also a reward awaiting for all those who are man-made apostles and prophets, and even those that are ministers and doctors. And all those whom are well taught with their many degrees and masters of divinity and doctorates. And also those that are scholars and who are the minions of Shaitan, and are the ministers of God God whom is called Shaitan. But now that we all know the truth we all can discern whom is the Holy One and whom is the real Holy Prophet. Because friend, E, the Messiah is coming once again to establish E's Holy Kingdom in the earth. So let us all be ready for E's, return. Praise E. The odd. So, my friends would you embrace E. Today. Whom is E? the Holy Prophet. And would you do it today? Before it's too late. Thank you. Friend, E. Would certainly bless you. Amen. So let it be. Thank you. Friends to learn more about E, and E Eluya, and E Eluhimi, would you please follow the links below to my YouTube channel and to learn more about, the Holy One whom is called E, and E Eluya and E Eluhimi and whom is E Christ, and also about my messages which is called, the prophesied false prophet called Jesus. Friends, there would a link in the description box below at the end of my message. Thank you. The End